everybody. I'm Hillary Atkin from the Atkin Report, and I'm really excited to welcome Dee Smooth from The Voice to this edition of Hillary's Happy Hour. Dee, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. Blessed and happy to be here. Well, I am so happy to have you, and I want to start off talking about your battle round of Unaware with Ali for Team Kelly. It was just fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> when your performance wrapped up, that's when the drama heated up because Kelly chose Allie as the winner and then Chance swooped in to steal you. And then Kelly really quickly swooped right back in and awarded you the coveted playoff pass. So what were you feeling as all this played out after your performance? I honestly couldn't even explain. <laughs> it was uh, just a, a burst of emotions. I was uh, most definitely grateful out of all of it. But going into it, me and Allie, uh, we prayed before we, went, before we hit the stage. And we just had no, I just never felt worried, you know. So uh, when that did happen, it was almost like I can let out. All the air I had, I could sigh, everything out, like, thank you, Jesus. It worked out, you know. <laughs> well, what advantages do, does having the playoff pass mean for you in your preparations? Well, the advantage is I get to kind of rest my voice. I get to kind of see what song will fit me a little bit more uh, waiting up to that point now versus having to do another song for knockouts and then uh the playoff song so i'm i'm taking it from that standpoint because it's another standpoint as well uh you don't get to sing again right you don't get to sing again to the knockout so i mean to the playoffs. so uh that kind of as a performer and as someone who's trying to uh win over people to be missing and absent from the competition a little bit I don't want people to forget about who I am. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's two sides to see it from, but I, I'm so grateful and I'm ready for the playoffs. Ready? I got a lot of pre preparation time. Well, let's rewind to your blind audition of Ed Sheeran's Perfect. And the teams were almost full at that point, but Kelly turned first and then Niall jumped in as you were concluding your performance. Chance told Kelly she should get you. But how did you make your decision between Niall and Kelly? <laughs> well, I think Kelly was just fighting for me like a mama would. And she went to battle with me. Uh, now he did kind of fight for me. But I don't know. I just always been very attracted to Kelly's uh, genre and just how she operates. And then she's a Southern girl. Like, oh, my goodness, I'm a Southern guy, you know. So, uh the things that she was saying were just hitting right on home. And I just felt like I'd be more comfortable on her team. So I picked Kelly. I had to. I almost felt like I was going to be in a doghouse if I didn't. <laughs> well, yeah, you guys, that's right. You guys are both have roots in the South. And, you know, aside from that commonality, which I'm sure goes a long way, what have you learned from Kelly so far? Well, I will tell you this. Kelly is, first of all, an A-list person, right? She's just a great person to be around and to learn things from. Throughout our run on the show so far, me and Kelly's relationship, she has absolutely let me kind of take the driving wheel and she just kind of like ask her two cents. And we have a lot of moments to where we have the same ideas <laughs> about like, different places musically. And I feel like that's why she has been uh, speaking so highly about me and gave me the playoff pass. Uh, we have a very good sense of uh, music and she sees that in me. So uh, she allows me to be more creative around her. And uh, she just kind of tweaks it whenever she, you know, if she has something to say to me, hey, David, you should do X, Y, Z. Hey, David, I think you should, you know, um then that's when it'll be implemented but as far as us I just feel like she's the best coach for me she just let me be me you know she let me be me at the end of the day well that's important and also you have developed a big 
fan base worldwide. So tell me a little bit more about the support you've received. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Apparently, it's like out of the blind audition, people were just like, okay, he sounded pretty good. But this next performance with me and Allie, it brought to life another person, like almost another voice that people just haven't heard. So just like, wow, who is this guy? Who is this girl? Oh, yeah. We got to go follow them. We got to go see what's going on. I'm just grateful that it, it, it was able to impact so many people. And I've been just trying to have grace and, um, but juggle everything, balance everything, and I feel like I'm balancing it pretty well. I want to toast to that. You know, I want to <laughs> wrap up our happy hour because I am grateful that you took time out to be with me, D Smooth. Yes, ma'am. So here's a toast to your continued success on The Voice. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>